This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Hello, hello, hello. Hey yo, what up bruh? This your man Jamal. Yeah. No fat, no femme. I can't stand no feminine ass man. If I wanted a female, I'd get me a female, yo. I'm looking for those bro hams that know how to be a thug out in the streets, play some b-ball, yo. And nobody knows what we're doing behind the sheets. Man, I'm masculine, I'm straight acting, I'm down low. Nobody knows what I do. So I'm looking for that number one thug at brother that can hang with me and we can freak and still pull on females on the side because I'm not down with that gay stuff. I can't stand no feminine queen guys. Yo, masculine, straight acting, DL, top right here. Looking for those bottoms, those butch masculine butch bottoms. Yo, I'm signing out, A-Town out of here, yo, peace. I'm so white and confused. Hey guys, it's me, Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fofana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown, and I am in a better mood because guess what? Well, Dallas is in here. <laughs> no, JK, we'll get to that. But y'all know how we do it here. All my piggies know, but the baby pigs and the hogs coming along don't know. Come here, look, spread your opinions, keep it respectful, keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. You'll be blocked and chopped immediately okay we are back for another raw view for season 15 of rupaul's drag race i believe it's technically episode two because it was a two-part premiere last time i think so i think today's episode is called all drag goes to heaven which we all know that's not true so see y'all in hell um <laughs> Oh, you guys, I am tired today. I will be reading a lot of y'all today, honestly, because there's a lot of kind of questionable comments and foolish comments. I know some of y'all come here and skip the beginning. The ones who skip the beginning are the ones who need to hear the message secretly. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll read comments. We'll read some tips. Um, thank y'all for the tips in advance. Um, and we will oh try some food. I got some more snacks sent for me from... Aquarius and some friends of mine said or associates today had the nerve to make me buy snacks that they wanted me to try they didn't they, they didn't even think to like maybe cash at me a couple of dollars they made me buy some Mexican candy knowing I'm not allowed in Mexico and I have to try it so we'll see how that goes but I have a ponytail. Y'all see the ponytail? Ah, she got inches. She got inches. <laughs> oh, and this is another jacket from Rain. Ain't it cute? Got Chucky and Arnold. Y'all know I'm a nickel on your horse. SpongeBob in the back. Ow. So, yeah. What else? Mm, Y'all know I, I'm very random, so it'll be random things popping up. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm glad y'all came back and um, hope everybody's doing okay. So yeah. Oh, but well, Dallas couldn't be here because the typical female stunt. You know the stunt. I have a migraine. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Because we were supposed to try the snacks together. And I was going to paint her as a man. But never mind. <laughs> so, and some of y'all are... some A, a few of y'all are probably happy about that. Because a lot of y'all were complaining. Or I don't know what, what y'all have against her. But I'll get to that with the comment section and stuff. But I'm like... She's not doing anything wrong. If anything, we're on here having a good time and laughing. So I, don't, I really don't understand why some of y'all 
don't like her here. I don't, I don't understand that. Um, it's just weird to me. I'm like, she's not doing anything, but just stating her opinions. If anything, I'm probably having more fun with her. I mean, I, mean, I I'm happy that some of y'all that y'all know that I can handle doing this kind of thing by myself. I appreciate that. Like, I'm fun by myself. I could do it by myself, you know? But every now and then, it's fun to have somebody here. Okay, this is a random moment. <laughs> it's very, like, I'm just like, going through my phone. Have any of y'all been following the Idaho stabbings of the four students or whatever? It's just so much going on with that story. Like, I'm, like I don't even look for it. It is everywhere. And, you know, part of I'm like, okay, like, because they have the girl, Shinquilla. It hasn't been that much coverage over that, but I guess because it's like four white students. I'm not, I'm not trying to make it that, but it's kind of that two blonde girls because they don't even mention like that much about the brunette or like her boyfriend with the brown hair. It's always like the two blonde girls, but that's besides the point. But like, they think they found this, you know, the murderer Brian. Um, it's just so many. It's so many holes and plots in that story. Those of y'all that have been following it, it's like. How everything allegedly happened between like 406 to 425 is when he did the killings. But yet, one of them, Xana, had a food delivery from Uber Eats or something like that, delivered food at like 4 a.m. So, like, within from that time to 420 something, something happened to all of them. They got killed, you know, stabbed to death. And it's like, how does that? It's like, and then the other weird part is that two of the roommates, nothing happened to them. And then one of the roommates saw the saw the person. They were, I guess, they heard some noises, and then he happened to look up their door a third time and see somebody walking towards them with bushy eyebrows, according to her. But somehow he didn't see her, or either he was just did what he had to do. And he was on his way out. But it's like, how did y'all survive out of everybody in that house? And then how does one person stab all these people like that to death? One person. And nobody really hear anything. Like she said she heard a little bit of whimpering. She thought she heard a dog barking. She heard a guy say, I'm coming to help you or something like that. But yet somehow she didn't think to like, I think she said her phone wasn't in her room, but she just closed the door and went back to sleep for eight hours. So meanwhile, people are bleeding to death. Um, and then in the morning, I guess, the news, I think, had it wrong. The news said that she went outside, that she went to check on one of the roommates and they were unconscious and then she ran out. I'm like, sweetie, I'm quite sure the house is a bloody mess because literally you can see blood outside the house. That's how much blood it is. It's soaked from the walls and the floor to outside the house. I'm like, I'm quite sure she's more, to un more than unconscious. But then somebody said they think, well, no, is that she was unconscious the roommate like she saw what she saw the bodies i guess and she ran outside and kind of fell out and passed out and then a neighbor called the police you know but she still called her friends before she called the police though so that's kind of weird i don't know but i don't know i'm just saying all this to see what y'all think about that those y'all that have been following the story things don't make any sense how does one person do all this is it two people and then it's another story that one of the girls maddie who was who's the, a victim that i guess either maddie or kaylee or one of them bullied one of the other roommates or friends of a roommate that was trans or whatever the case is and that person committed suicide and so like that could be a part of it i don't know because it because they say that Kaylee is the one that got, I guess he took his anger out on her the most, according to like the body damage. I don't know. Oh, Casey, is it Casey or Kaylee? But I'm just curious to hear y'all's opinions on there. Those of y'all that are into that. Oh, somebody just brought up, yeah, the six-year-old that, that shot his teacher. I heard that. This world is crazy. Like, I know we always want to say it's the parents' fault. It ain't the kids' fault. But at what point are we going to place a little bit of blame on the kids, though? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, most normal six-year-olds aren't going to think to pick up a gun and shoot somebody. Like, he legit just took his gun to school, no issue at all, and just shot his teacher. Luckily, she didn't pass away. But who does that? I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway. Oh, it was intentional. That's what I'm saying. It, it was intentional. I don't know if the parents told him to do it. Or he just was mad because the teacher didn't give him back back his gummy burn his, his his gummy bears. I don't know. 
The world is crazy. <sighs> but we don't know if the parents if the parents did raise them that way. We don't know that. Okay, so I guess this is like another, you know, randomness. Did it, I, I think the person made fun of the name, but I guess they have a, another show. He said, "Are you going to be? Are you going to be reviewing the real bottoms of WeHo?" <laughs> and but I guess I guess WeHo has some kind of reality show coming out. I guess, but no, I will not be reviewing it. <laughs> so. No. Oh, thank you, Lish, for being a detective and making it be known that I was the one, the creator of Girls Are Girling. The first time the Girls Are Girling was ever tweeted on Twitter was January 26, 2020 by Drag Race fan account. Come on, Twitter analysts. The next time in 2020, it was directly tweeted that it came from Pierre on June 2020. So, if you can find in the raw view in 2020, you said it first. File that copyright and collect your coins from anyone selling merch with the saying, etc. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, somebody came up, came up with a list, I guess, for RuPaul's Drag Race premiere episode winners. And it has Nina Flowers, Morgan Michaels, Raja, Roxy, Bendela, Bianca, Violet Chashki, Kim Chi, Nina, Bonina Brown, whoever that is, Mayhem Miller, Brooklyn Heights, Widow Von Du, Jada Essence Hall, Simone, Denali, Cornbread, Angelia Ferris, Pam Michaels, and Anitra. It's so funny because like most of those girls have won the whole season too. It could have been me, but I wasn't white, black, China. <laughs> but secretly, secretly that list would be a, a a sickening All Stars cast, secretly. Even though most of these girls have already been on All Stars, and I wouldn't want to see them again. So, <laughs> let the music play. Let the white folks gay. Wait, okay, qu- comment. So far, I see a narrative early in season fifteen where the queens are speaking about non taking things too seriously and reading, etc. Is a part of drag. So I hope this continues and it helps desensitize a lot of the sensitive drag race fandom. I can kind of see that and I hope it works too, but honestly, I don't think it has worked because I know some Twitter youngins were mad that Michelle called out like Marsha's makeup and stuff like that. I think I'll get to that later on down the comment section, but they're like, how could you imagine being so happy to be on Drag Race only to be read right away about your makeup? You must feel horrible. I mean, I think they went on the show to be critiqued, I'm just saying. But I got her point because she also said, well, because they told you to come as you are for that runway. And if, and I guess she did have a point, like in the audition video, they had to see that Marsha didn't wear that much makeup. So why say something? But I'm like, she went on there to be critiqued. So, I mean, but we'll get there. So glad Rodalis is back. So nice of you to give, to give your maid some time off. <laughs> Racism. It never gets old, honestly. I keep telling Nina to be my drag mom so I can win and gag them with the news in the end. That would be everything. I want everyone to see this comment too. Troll Nina. Girl, people can literally keep trying to make me be a drag mom or a drag auntie. I'm like, leave me alone. No. (laughs) 
and aim higher. Why do y'all want me to be a dread mom? If y'all don't aim higher and act Shay and Monique and them and Monet, <laughs> girls who aren't canceled and they are loved by the fan base, ask them. Go, why y'all want to dream, dream small, dream big? <laughs> oh, speaking of that, she's booked fish. I've been to tell y'all. I mean, I, I posted it. Some of y'all have seen my postings with everything, but yes, I am booked next month somehow. I don't know how it would happen. I am booked February 2nd at, let me get my right information, at Demons in New York, Gina Thompson, give it up, give it up, um, and it'll be at, it doesn't have a time, it says from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m., 21 and plus, because in order to see my mug, you must be 21, exactly, um, follow Paragon, on RA for tickets and event info. So yes, I'll be greasing up these knees. I really don't know what to do. I feel awkward doing a show now. I don't feel comfortable doing a show. I think there's so many years of like feeling just like not wanted, not appreciated. You start believing that, you know, and, and, I, and I don't even know if I even care to do drag that much anymore, you know, honestly. So I'm a little nervous about it, but um, I'm gonna do it. And we'll see how it goes. So I'll see some of y'all there. Bring breath mints, please, because I will read your breath. Um, and tip. <laughs> Shouldn't the queen with a lot of years of experience be happy to have queens like Sugar and Spice as competition? I mean, it's easy competition, so why the bitterness? I mean, she's talking about like people like, um, I guess, Mistress and Selena when they were kind of like coming at Sugar and Spice a little bit. I don't, I mean, it may be a little bitter in this, but she has to also understand it's like, Queens who have been drag queens before it became popular on TV. You know, a lot of girls, believe it or not, are doing drag just for the mere fact to get on Drag Race. If Drag Race was the end, most of these girls would probably stop doing drag and not even care anymore. Because then they wouldn't have no TV show to be on and be all famous with it. Secretly. So when you see, so when you have girls who've been in the game for a long time, who's had to claw their way from the bottom to the top, and they see that these young teeny boppers get on just for being popular on TikTok, yes, you will look at them kind of funny like, excuse you, I've, I've been in the bars hustling, I've been doing things and somebody can get on like this. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, that's how it is. <laughs> this season is just Connecticut versus the world. <laughs> Cause of all the Connecticut girls in there. <laughs> oh, another fact again. Now that the show switched to MTV, they were definitely trying to mimic the Gaga moment when they moved to VH1, secretly. But as you said, Ariana is not that huge of a gag, and no way they can get Beyonce. This was a lot of... I do wonder why they can't get Beyonce. I, I really wonder, is it a money thing? Or is that Beyonce just thinks she's too big for it? Or is she thinks it's going to ruin her image? Because I feel like Beyonce knows the gays love her completely. So it's like... It would be nice for her to go on Drag Race. It really would be. But I don't know why the reason why she hasn't done it. I don't know. This was a lot for a premiere. Longer than Avatar 2. So the hours. Numbers wise, the first hour of double episodes got 752,000 viewers. And in the second hour, 698,000. So season 9 premiere still holds the record with close to 1 million great. Ow! Oh. We still hold the record for almost the most views. <laughs> oh, you know, you new girls keep trying it, girl. Y'all get there one day. <laughs> this makes me so sad. I, I feel like Drag Race has really lost its magic. It used to be drag queens getting on Drag Race with true ambition, heart, and determination. It just doesn't feel real to me anymore. It went from being a real to being so fake. Maybe that's just me, but could I can't even bring myself to watch the newer seasons. No, I think it's because, like I said earlier, you're seeing girls who are secretly just getting on for the fame or what they think is fame for TV. Not because they were just bre dreaming and, and, and breeding drag and, and, and thinking about drag all the time. I meant breathing, not breeding. <laughs> drag all the time. It's like, like, like some girls are just, they're now a prodigy of drag race versus the girls who were just doing drag because it was their passion and everything. So that's what you're seeing. <laughs> you killed me at the one minute, the one hour mark. <laughs> They're talking about when, um, so many names. The girl who went home, when she started doing the kick, <laughs> I guess I, at first I was like, ah, and then she messed up. I said, oh, ooh, no. She said that part. 
Reminds me of when Trey comes over and then you see what he's packing. <laughs> oh my God, I love how you included this disclaimer at the beginning. It's so true. So many people misinterpreted the message, which was let's judge everyone fairly and not follow what the audience is saying or doing based on what's currently popular trending not discrediting any of the queens they're all beautiful and talented in their own way but this is a competition and the best drag queen performer in this competition deserves to win not basing it on the amount of followers or whatever drag herstory they're trying to push at the moment so that goes back to the whole like sasha thing where most of y'all have common sense and y'all know exactly what i'm saying you're not taking it any kind of way but the ones who just come around for the purpose of watching my raw views just to be mad that's another thing y'all are here to watch the raw view so we can all together as a whole group judge and read and have opinions on the girls who are on the show. Instead, some of y'all like to judge and read and have opinions on me or my guests. Girl, I don't, we're not, uh, girl, I'm not on the show. Let's judge them. <laughs> Every time I'm like, okay, but what about what happened on the show though? <laughs> so anyway, it goes back to the whole Sasha thing of like how some people try to make it seem like oh, you're saying this because of that. And it's like, no. It's just a fact that most of the people did not know who Sasha Colby was until Carrie Colby mentioned her name. You know, like, y'all keep taking it in a certain kind of way. It's like, I'm not saying she's not a legend or whatever y'all want to call it, but most of y'all did not know who she was until Carrie brought her up. And then all of a sudden, she's a legend because Carrie brought her up. I'm talking about the ones who think that way, not the ones who know who Sasha is before Drag Race. Listen closely. Get it in your head. And the thing about hyping somebody because they're trans or miscontinental, blah, blah, blah. let's be real, a lot of y'all did hype Kiri because she was trans and she was pretty. Because if I go back and think about it, she did not do that great on her season. And that's not me reading her at all. It's literally facts. She was not that great on the, her season. She didn't, she didn't like kill and turn the party. Y'all just liked her because she was pretty and she represented, she, she, she represented for the trans girls. Let's be real. <laughs> so I don't want that same thing happening to Sasha. I want people to know who she is outside of Drag Race, but not let that cloud their judgment on how she does on the show. Cause we can all be icons and legends all day outside of Drag Race. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean you're going to compete and do your best on the show. And like I said, once again, if they don't do good on the show, it doesn't mean that they're not good drag queens or they're not icons or legends. But you can't base your opinions off of what people are saying. Let's see what they do on the show. That's all I'm saying. Nobody really seems to, not nobody, a few people seem to listen to that and then hear, you hate Sasha, you hate Sasha, you hate Sasha, you hate Sasha. What about her resume? What about her resume? I'm like... I know her resume. I mean the 12 year old fans who had no idea who she was and some of the older people too. So, but I'm sure some of y'all will still get mad and end up getting blocked and it's raw views, so it's okay. Cause, and you can have your opinion with me, but some of y'all be like to get nasty and smart mouth in the comments. And you're like, oh, why she blocked me? I thought we could have our opinions. There's a difference between having an opinion and being a whole jack behind. I'm sure you know the difference. Sorry, I meant to also throw this in. And if that's the case with with Sasha being a legend because, you know, Miss Continental, stuff like that, then wouldn't that make Nasha? And y'all know how I feel about Nasha. But I'm not I'm reading her, but like, wouldn't that make her icon a legend? She's won pageants. But y'all didn't look at her as an icon or a legend. And you saw how she performed on Drag Race, so... <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, it's that simple. Like, it's just, it's how it goes. Thank you for your dedication to YouTube. Would love to see more of you on TikTok this year. I'm on TikTok, that, that, but see, that's the gag. You don't even know I'm on TikTok. I don't think <laughs> so. It's like, I post stuff all the time, literally all the time. And I'm like, it's up to you guys to really like, I think, make it to see these things. I can't really do anything besides post it. I can't keep blaming, I can't keep blaming algorithm. There's nothing I can do. I am on TikTok. You know, if they choose, I don't know. Like, people share my stuff and they get all the views and likes and everything. I post my own stuff and nobody sees it. <laughs> so there's nothing, there's nothing else I can do, honestly. Somebody said, you know what? I appreciate you saying how some of us need to go out and do the research. I myself haven't, I myself have been gassing Sasha up based on what I heard. 
See, I'm not just making this stuff up, y'all. When Kiri was cast for season 14, I did go back to see Sasha's continental performances, but I did not watch the full thing and didn't see who she beat or anything like that. I'm from LA, and so Sasha's just known here. Which, are, yeah, she's in LA. To, to, you know, to be that girl, and I agree. Myself included should look into these girls more before we start putting them on such a high horse because we're almost setting high expectations for ourselves, and if they don't live up to these hype, we'll be mad at the girls when they didn't ask for that. And that's true. You put all these people on high horses and these high pedestals and high expectations, and then when they don't do as good as you thought they were going to do, then you're like disappointed or you're reading them, and it's like, they didn't ask for that. That's what y'all put on them. So let me see. I always said Carlos Alva is secretly RuPaul. <laughs> when I tell you Carlos is 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 famous on here, I cannot. Oh, your friend can sing. She sounded pretty. Y'all get on my nerve. Girl, she was oh, girl. She was okay. Like girl, she was oh no. Oh. oh. They're talking about when I did that part of do do do. And she started singing. Like, I mean, like, girl, like, please. Like, girl, no ma'am, girl. No, don't blow her head up, girl. The runways, half the girls look the same. The looks are all the same once we've seen. These queens have all got the same fire designers on rotation. Booked and busy. I wish the girls would wear whatever they want and stop worrying about the fans. Everything they go on and do, they're trying to, they're trying to ask is how the fans will respond. Overly editing themselves to be marketable. I want Bimini, I want Raj, I want Lanesha, I want Kim Chi, I want Tyra. Very much individual in their style, but still hitting the category. That's the thing, like, I missed the early days of Drag Race where, like, the focus was giving the female illusion. It really was. So, like, they didn't really, it, it wasn't about wearing the most crazy avant-garde outfit. It was like, girl, go to Marshalls, put on your best dress, or Target, or TJ Maxx. And give us fish. Like, show me the transformation. Like, I miss those days of just, like, you could just buy a dress from Dollar General. And it was okay. <laughs> now you have to really, like, have the most weirdest, crazy design and thousands of dollars kind of thing. And it's like, like, no. If I go back, girl, I'm wearing, I'm going to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, City Trends, girl, and <laughs> So I get it. Legend, statement, stars, icons. These little babies fans want to get so mad, but they don't even know the first thing about what truly makes an icon. I said what I said. Well, they said. <laughs> uh, when I said you can buy a coffins at Walmart, somebody says, no, but what gets me was seeing coffins on Amazon and you can get them shipped prime. Like, what you mean it's a casket at my door? <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> seeing a whole casket at your door. <laughs> I remember when they read Kamura for saying she wouldn't leave the house without her body and they made fun of her, but now they're reading for, for not wearing body. Well, the victory I felt when you said that the duck walk for you now is a workout when it used to be nothing. Same, same. Getting old sucks. I was so shocked by the transition into the elderly <laughs> that I thought it must be a unique experience. Glad to know I'm not alone. Hell, you're not. Like, I guess getting being alive is nice, but getting older and you can't really do the things you used to want to do is sad. Okay, so this is going back into like with Dallas and these people, their crazy comments. He says, he he disagrees with every point she makes. LOL, shaking my head. I agree with her a lot. It's like she is going out of her way to say nice things about him and not getting on his bad side and he is still finding a way to disagree. She made valid points about social media. If I were her, I would just say what I got to say. Forget the buffer, but that is a good friend. She respects the channel. I get it. What are you talking about? Like some of y'all was having these stupid comments. How was I disagreeing with everything she said? And how was she going out of her way to say things to make me happy? She has her own opinions. I have my own opinions. And normally when you're friends with somebody, y'all do agree on a lot of, a lot of things. That's what makes you friends. I don't know what, what y'all expect. It's like y'all y'all almost want her to just like either not agree with anything I say because y'all, it's like some of y'all get so mad that there's people in the world that actually agree with me. It's actually a lot of people that agree with me but are too scared to say it. I can reassure you, Wadalas has her own mind. And if you actually were watching the whole video, where was I purposely trying to go against her? If I didn't agree with something she said, we simply was like, okay, cool. I don't like it, you like it, okay, cool. We moved on. Why are y'all always trying to like 
make me into some bad, crazy person. And you better say what he says. It's like, I don't understand some of you, but okay. This is random. <laughs> I find that hilarious. Her just beating the crap out of these um, zombies. I can't. Another random moment. Yes! Just the power that came out of Martha's mouth just now. Ugh. Ow. Random again. This is me whenever I have females like flirting with me. Thank you. you don't understand, you. I have wanted to make love to you for my whole life. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so this is like the last like kind of comments, okay? Because people were asking me, okay. What do you think about Laomi coming out and trying to clock drag queens on drag race as appropriating ball culture? So this is not the first time Laomi has came at some of the girls on drag race. Um, and Aja, I guess, started something too. Um, I heard that Aja was actually watching my live video, watching my video live when but the last Raw View and was laughing about the whole like duck walk thing so if you're watching again shout out aja you know we don't talk all the time and you know i'm i'm, I'm gonna say things you know i'm sure you say things too but you know how that goes so i'm gonna have some opinions on things you said and it's okay whatever i don't really want to get into this because i don't want Leomi to to cut me <laughs> or the ballroom scene so i guess what I'm hearing is that Leomi is thinking that Anitra, I guess, pretty much is appropriating the ballroom scene on Drag Race and I guess wasn't that good at it or was okay. Okay, right, so I'll just say, I, I don't know if this is the first comment, but she said, as a matter of fact, if you're not in ballroom, your opinion on the matter literally isn't important to the matter. Love you, but stay in your lane. We need to protect our culture and continue to platform people in our community before we praise others not in the community for doing inaccurate depictions of our performance styles. Because guess what? Now there has become someone who does not act active in ballroom's brand. Their drag being at the intersection of ballroom, they are literally going to bank off of this, but sure, keep trying to silence us. After that, she had a bunch of comments on Twitter from people. And then she says, Anitra unfollowing me on IG and removing me as a follower after I gave her flowers, but made a simple critique on behalf of many others in the ballroom who feel the same way instead of just responding to the DM I sent and creating a dialogue is comical to me. Okay, Aja, I really wish you would have just stayed in your place, you know, or just not said anything because from what I saw, I'm not into ballroom. I never wanted to be because I always felt like the ballroom scene was slightly messy. I'm being honest. It's always a fight breaking out. Nobody, it's a bunch of like favoritism going on in there. Some of the girls think they are better than everybody in the whole world. You can't do anything. Like Leomi, for example. Like, I met Leomi. She, she, she actually was at a show I was at. I don't know if she came there for that reason, but she was there. As far as I know, she never read me for doing my duck walks and stuff on Drag Race. So I'm like, yay, I think she's like, okay, go out. <laughs> so I have nothing against Leomi and stuff, but sometimes to me, even like watching Legendary stuff, and we get it, like she did like change Ballroom a lot and she done a lot for Ballroom, but I feel like there's nothing anybody can do to make her happy when it comes to doing anything. Like every now and then she might give a praise. She might, you know? But I feel like she just, I don't know if it's like a thing of like, I want to be the number one always, always. And she may secretly like something, but she's like, no ma'am, I'm the best. <laughs> like that's what I get from her a lot of times. So even if she thought, I don't know, I'm, I'm not trying to speak for her, but even if she thought Anitra killed it, she probably wouldn't say it. I personally don't think Anitra did bad. Like, I thought the duck walk was nasty. I was like, ow. Some people thought she was maybe too low to the ground. But I guess everybody has their own unique design or technique to doing a duck walk. Like, I can see if she did bad and then y'all were mad about it. But she didn't do bad. Like, I thought it was, for me, I thought it was clean. Especially the dip and stuff. I was like, ow. You know, but I'm also not deep-rooted in the ballroom scene like Leomi and them. You know? So... Somebody said they were mad because Legendary wasn't getting another season, so now they're taking it out on, on, on her. But, but like I was saying, like, there's so many, like, just, 
there's, there's, there's a lot of just like a bunch a bunch of just like random people now who are doing voguing and all on the internet and everything and i don't hear nothing going on from the ballroom scene saying y'all are appropriating us but y'all are mad at a drag queen on drag race doing a couple of moves and there's people that think aja didn't do that great on legendary with her moves or stuff you know i know that aja is a good performer but when it comes back to that ballroom stuff, you got to be more better and extra good. So it's like some people think that you probably didn't do that great in what you were doing, you know? So it's like, it's just a mess, you know? But I don't think y'all should be going over there and bashing Aja or trying to downplay her talents because she is talented. Um, I just think the ballroom can be so cutthroat with people. It's like... Let's be real, all of us are in the lifestyle and we about do the same dances. So that means like if somebody goes on Drag Race and does a salsa or a foxtrot or something, are they then appropriating that? Like you can't do any other dance? Like what can we do? Like so like if we can't do those moves, should we just walk around and do the robot? But then will robots say, you're appropriating our culture? <laughs> it's just a mess, I can't, a mess. Okay, so tips and comments. I'm sorry, tips. And remember, if you would like to tip, please tip. If not that much, like and subscribe. I feel like a lot of y'all come here and watch the videos, but y'all are not liking and subscribing. Like, it's not gonna kill you to get those stubby little fingers with a little bit of doodle crust under your nails from digging in your, digging in your bunkers and just pressing subscribe or like. It's not gonna kill you. If you can't tip, at least do that much. <laughs> Um, but if you would like the tip, all the information will be in the description box down below. Thank you, Jamil Cole. Oh, it was your birthday. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Ryan Kinslow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Enrique Castillo, for all the tips. I see you tipped me a few times. Thank you, Jacob Dunn, for the tip. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard Matchman, as always. Thank you, D'Angelo Madre. Thank you, Nathan L. Thank you, uh, Alley Cat. Alley Cat. Thank you, uh, um. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Mm. Mm. Hey, Sasha Dykeman. Thank you, girl. I see she's still dyking in 23. <laughs> Thank you, Gustavo Alvaro. Thank you, love. Thank you, Richard again. Thank you, Hannah Luterio. Thank you, Ash Thin Chin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Momo F. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Thomas Pina. Thank you, love. Thank you, Zach H. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alley Cat again. <sighs> Y'all don't know how bad I want to choke the people on, on Twitch. It's always mid conversation. I'm like, thank you. Do, 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 do. Like, like, just, I just. Thank you, Alley Cat. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan L. again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha again. Thank you, Dane Walton for the big tip. Thank you so much. Thank you, Clifford Lim. Thank you so much. Thank you, Teresa Love. Thank you, Gustavo Alvera again. Thank you. Uh, uh, girl, I almost thought a line. I forgot he owed me that. Girl, bye. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Romero, as always. Oh, this is old, but I didn't know you had gave me that much. Oh, did I know? Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Carlos Alva. As or people people think you're you're really RuPaul. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin Cannon, for the good tip. Thank you, Robert Ean. Thank you, Aurora Aksha. Thank you, Michael Menta. Thank you, Ernesto Camacho Art. Thank you, Cameron Clunas. Thank you, Anthony Castro. Thank you so much. Oh, Anthony, you're handsome too. We could do handsome things together. You know, like get like strings and make like puppets and like put our fingers in the puppets and have like imagination time. And then we can sit down and like have a sleepover and drink like a bunch of bubbly Coca-Cola and then make funny burps and then look at each other and go, oopsie daisy, I burped. <laughs> um, suddenly he doesn't find me handsome anymore. <laughs> thank you so much oh thank you dylan kelly <gasps> for the big old tip okay you, you're not in a t you're not in a tip 
you can't put tip regularly, but that's a big old tip. Thank you. Thank you, anime. Oh, anime tip me. Thank you, Craig Dobson. Thank you, James Keen. Thank you, Kathel Kelly, as always. Thank you, Takira Makula. Thank you, boo. Thank you, Tommy. Oh, Tommy tip too. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tiffany Size. Angelo. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you, Jared Woodward. Thank you, love. Thank you, Ryan Story. Thanks for all your one. Okay, I'm about to block the next person that tried me. Okay, I'm so t if these people don't learn to support me in silence, support me in silence. Thank you all for your wonderful tips. <laughs> this is gonna be a long intro because now I have to try the snacks. So yeah. Okay, let's travel down to Mexico. Okay, um, these are called Del Nayar, Del Nayar, 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 Del Campo Supalador, the Cucharadas, Cucharadas. Girl, y'all are creative. <laughs> now they literally put <laughs> some kind of something on a family dollar. Okay, oh my God. This looks like doo-doo on a spoon, girl. <laughs> I wish Rodolphus was here to do this with me. I already know I'm not gonna like this. And I know the person to block for telling me to get this. Here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. It smells, I mean, it doesn't smell like really anything. Let me see. <laughs> it, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get the taste. Ew. <laughs> I kind of taste ketchup. <laughs> this is weird. It's like, it tastes like, oh, like a, I don't know, like a, I can't, it's, it's like a weird, like, I don't, taffy, ketchup, spicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad they have most wanted photos of me of not going to Mexico because I'm not going. Mmm. <laughs> okay. It wasn't like horrible, but it was deplorable. It's like, why? Let's try Poparindo. Poparindo. So allegedly, if you go to an actual authentic Mexican store, maybe things are better. I got this from like a grocery store called Food Depot. I'm gonna get one, so they have different flavors, I guess. They have watermelon, original, extra spicy. I guess I could try them all, I guess. Ugh. My mouth, ew, I still taste that spoon. I can't, I hate it. Okay, this is extra spicy picante. Oh gosh. Ew, why does everything look like flat doo-doo? I can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and yeah. And yeah. Um. That flavor? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. So <laughs> this is original. I think also I don't like how it looks. I don't care for the texture. Oh my god! What? A... Oh man! <laughs> I was almost like liking it, and then the taste hit me. It hit me. <laughs> it hit me, girl. <laughs> It's almost like a, it's almost like a prune, prune or something. Girl, I can't. Mm -mm. Oh, 
two more. Oh my god. Hey, what is Chamoy? 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 <laughs> oh, it's the aftertaste for me. <laughs> what is it for you? But for me, it's the aftertaste. It's like at first I'm like, okay, I see you, Queen. <laughs> Girl. Okay, I'm black. I should definitely like this one. It's watermelon, girl. I'm scared. My mouth tastes so nasty. Robert, I'm blocking you into the pits of hell. <laughs> Does everything have to taste like salt and prunes and... <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for them kids in Mexico. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for Halloween in Mexico. Girl. <laughs> oh, poor little Valentina when she was younger. Oh, that poor girl. Maybe there's some hope still. This is Jello Rosa. Jello Rosa with a random blow pop inside de la rosa oh it's a peanut okay it, the minute i open the bag it smells like once again it brocks or branches that the halloween candy that that, that the um people will give you who are kind of poor you know the ones with the butterscotch and the yellow packaging and the red strawberry candy that you'll get from your grandma at church and the red hot candy and the red plastic bag and the little peanut um, striped bag with the peanut thing that tastes like a um, Butterfinger. You know the cheap neighborhood people that would give you that stuff. That's what it smells like already. It smells like the peanut one. It is so powdery. Like, uh, like you can't even like open it and get and grab the whole thing. It's too messy. It's not bad. This is one of the better ones. But it's basically what I just said. It's literally that with some peanuts inside of it. It's that. That's what it is. Girl, dang, they, girl, they made sure that a kid can't get, can't get inside the lollipop. Okay. This is... What flavor is this? The way I put this in my mouth, I'm going to show y'all how I got on Drag Race. The things I had to do to Ruth Paul. Here I come, RuPaul. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. This is the best one. <laughs> I think it just tastes like any other lollipop you will get. I'm going to save this for later. We have to travel to... We're going to the Philippines. Oh yeah, and baka baka baka. <laughs> Can't forget the bakas. Okay. Rib crackling by Oishi. Oishi. Oh wow. Salt and vinegar. So it's gonna taste like daddy's feet, okay? See, over in the States, cracklings are like, you know, like pork rinds, like, you know, pig skin. Is it the same thing there? Let's see. Oh my God, I can already smell it. it smells like a locker room full of jocks taking out their shoes after a hot basketball game and they're all sweating and nasty and their feet are all wet and greased up and they pull down their sweatpants and this is sweat everywhere and the strap is just barely hanging on by the v-line of the body of the legs dripping down and they're just like all smacking each other's on the butt and they're going good game guy good game and they all hop in a shower and like oh oh hold on so back to the cackling the crackling well they put a lot of vinegar in this <laughs> 
<laughs> Girl, they put, it's like somebody put their feet in the bag and let it soak for a whole week. <laughs> Like, I I eat salt and vinegar chips and salt and vinegar, like, pork rinds, but this is some really heavy, heavy, heavy vinegar. Woo! Uh, Funka. Mmm, Ganga. Uh, Nana. <laughs> these aren't really pork rinds to me, or cracklings. You know what these taste like? These taste just like over here. We call it, have chips called bugles, fake like little triangle little things. This tastes just like a bugle. It's harder to chew, but this is like a, this is literally a bugle, a salt and vinegar bugle chip. Is what it is. They're not bad, but you definitely could not. I couldn't eat a whole bag right away, because eating one felt like a lot of work. <laughs> like for real, for I'm like it was a lot, and it had the spice to it as well. Interesting. Okay, another, this is basically Fritos. Those y'all know, these are Fritos. But they're called Chippy by Jack and Jill, barbecue flavored. I, I can already tell this will taste like a Frito, a Frito-Lay. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's not better than Fritos. It really isn't. I guess because like in America, we throw all the bad things in our food. <laughs> this tastes a little like it's lacking. I don't really taste the barbecue, honestly. It's like it's almost like a a naked Dorito, like just a plain Dorito that has no hope, no reason for living or going on. You know, it's it's, it's that Dorito at the factory that is being poured into like the metal thing where they put the seasoning at, but somehow it fell off to its side and it never got seasoning putting on it. Oh, poor Dorito. Meh. There are some noodles in here as well, but I'll try the noodles maybe another time. But this right here, it's a brand called Lucky Me. And I have, okay, I'm scared of that one. Calam Calamansi flour, it's like a lemon and a lime. Ugh, or lime flavor. And then original onions. And Chili Mancy. I wish there would have been some chicken, though. She know I'm black. And also, everybody send a prayer for Aquarius. I won't say why, but just send a prayer for her. This is called Bacalod's Bong Bong's Finest Delicacies. Aika Ling Talaga. Special Ubi Payaya. Oh, best when hot. I have to warm this up. I'll be right back. Or actually, I'll come back to this. So this is a Japanese ubi cake. And it's supposed to be soft and moist. It looks like some purple yams or something like that. Or I, I'm like, I'm. they say it's good, but I'm scared of it. But let's see. Ew, not yam. I don't even like yam. My dad does though. Okay, the packaging is cute, I guess. It smells good. Let's see. It is moist. Okay. They're not bad. It tastes a little dirty. But I mean, it's like when I'm chewing in it, I feel like I'm eating dirt. <laughs> but it tastes like, it kind of tastes like the other cupcake. I don't really taste yams. So they're not bad, so I mean, I guess they're okay. I mean, I guess I'll, uh, I mean, I still prefer the other one, but I'm, 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 I mean, I guess. Uh. So I warmed up the thank you, my jigger. Now let's try. It smells like something. Is this jelly? What is this? What's in the middle of these things, Quirious? These flat things. Is that grape? Is it prune? What is it? Uh, nah, nah. It's not bad, but, it's, but I, I don't care for it that much. If I had to base a trip on whether to go to Mexico or Philippines from off of these snacks, I'm going to Philippines, baka, baka, baka. Well, let's get the drag race. Okay. I did not want to go to that heaven. I'm already laughing at this secretly. <laughs> Who's next? It could be any of us. 
<laughs> the shade. <laughs> now, Miss Robin, I think it's time you spin. Bandit got over Irene fast. <laughs> we say that. No, Robin said you wouldn't text her back. <laughs> oh, girl, did Robin paint on her? Robin, did you paint on Amethyst? And did Amethyst top you with her nose? Oh my God. I want us to prove them wrong because that sounds kind of bitter. Dang, Sasha's uh, forehead contour is Kool Aid. Girl, a little cherry, a little strawberry. <laughs> she put the whole. Uh, girl, she got. She said, "Shoop." It was Lucy coming in confident, and now it's Lucy pissed off. She's giving me white um Eva destruction. I am Eva, mother effing destruction. <laughs> okay, Lucy said, "Y'all will not disrespect me. I'm a real drag queen." To sell us your vision of the afterlife. Yeah, they're playing with God again. <laughs> I guess they have their maxi is they have to do something, a look or something about how heaven is or whatever the case is. Team number one. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Amethyst liked that part. They're going to have fun. Yeah. I think because we have Sasha Cole. Sasha's hair is laid. Okay, girl. They say that God is a woman. No. God is a charm. It's a... You know, like, I'm, uh, here's, this is what kills me. A lot of people don't believe in God and that you're entitled to that. But yet y'all believe in it when Ariana says God is a woman. <laughs> it's like making my, it's like now God is a woman, then God is trans. Now God is a drag queen. Can we stop that? <laughs> I just, I just don't think it's respectful. I really don't. Like personally, whether you, whether you believe in it or not, you're entitled to that. And I'm entitled to my belief. But I personally wouldn't be like, God, the drag queen, like, no. <laughs> and you know, young, impressionable kids are going to, like, listen to that and believe that. It's like, no. I know they're having fun, but I don't know. It, it, it has to be some a little, some kind of little respect going on a little bit. Just saying. Now, for a second, I was dumb enough and thought that Spice's body was real <laughs> with the tattoos. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't know why Jax kind of is giving me like a short like I don't know like Latino stud like lesbian stud you know like she'll kick your butt <laughs> so, for those of y'all that play the Friday the 13th game that's what Jax is giving me right there her you know the one you know the one I'm asking sickly some of the words are, 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 are very mumbled Unfortunately, some of the high visible the buzz the buzz was that was zebra. <laughs> but same girl, speech issues too. Sugar's look has literally given me white chicks. <laughs> like literally, this is white chick look right here. The amenities, this glamorous. Sasha looks pretty there. Ow, it's giving me like, like like interracial Marilyn Monroe tees. I live for it. Ow. Oh, honey, you're all right, sir. When I tell you, <laughs> Selena, now, Selena has good makeup, but I tell you right there, at least she got a snicker bar and said, contour, munch, contour, munch. Like, very much that. It was very. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, honey, you're dead. <laughs> I hated that. Where am I? It was given very Auntie M. I'm Dorothy. Is the icon, the legend, slipping up? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just I'm saying, nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. Okay? And I feel like everybody can tell that. And I feel her pain because, like, honestly, for real, you really go there thinking confident, right? Like, like you may at home, like me, I do all kind of skits and parodies at home. 
and I'm like, I know I can do some acting. And then you go to something like this where it's like a quick environment and it's very like, learn this quickly and do this. You go there with like the best intentions, like, I got this. I know my lines. And then you, and then you get there and you and they can say one thing that can throw you off and then you're like, oh God, I'm horrible. And you get into your head. So that's what happens. Uh, hi, yo. Girl, are you gay? Now girl, is you gay? Do you slay? Hey, girl. <laughs> girl, are you I hate this image. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, and then he's looking down on her. Oh, y'all know the stare that guys do when they're looking down on you. And you're looking at them. And looking at, they're looking down at you in shame. You little nasty. Now I see why they're banning drag from children in Texas. <laughs> Have y'all heard that? My friend was telling me that in Texas, they did some kind of proposition of like adding drag queen taxes. So like, let's say restaurants that do brunches, whatever, they have to now add taxes or whatever, basically making it seem like the establishment is like an older establishment for like, you know, more, more so up to age sexually kind of thing. So now you'll be known as like, this is for like adults. That is so weird to me. I really actually like Amethyst. I love her face. I think she's going to be on some kind of TV show or something. She literally looks like a TV character. She does. Like, this is a this is a TV character. <laughs> like, she just has that goofy, like, sidekick, like, you know, the Jewish friend. The guy. <laughs> she's, like, I see her on TV. I see it for her. I'm used to working with you. We have the same sense of humor. We have the same right. energy and humor. Well, of course y'all have the same humor. Y'all twins. <laughs> and also, for y'all, it's easier maybe doing these skits because y'all started, basically grew up as online social media girls, which like I kind of in a way relate to, you know, it's like, even though it didn't, sh it didn't show in a 902 one because it was a lot more to that, but it's like y'all, y'all more used to that because it's what y'all do. You know, a lot of these girls don't really be on videos making parodies or making skits or anything. So it's like, you know, it's a little different. Sugar, I feel your pain with those contacts. They could be so pretty, but they never want to turn the right way. And then before you know it, you're looking like Kennedy Davenport, or you're looking like <laughs> what's the other girl name? The other season, the, the the girl who secretly could have been on Dracula, who had those contacts and her eyes were going different ways. <laughs> those darn contacts. Attracted to. I mean, they, 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 don't, they wrong for this shot <laughs> and this lighting. It was always said in the church to be gay was a sin. So it was something. I feel like we have to always get these kind of stories. It's like, I guess for me, I'm kind of more numb to it because we hear it all the time. And we've all, for the most part, those of us that are in the lifestyle, we kind of have already experienced it in a way, you know? And it's like, like, like somebody was saying earlier, well, you know, some people turn their back on religion because religion makes them feel a certain way. But it's not the really religion for the most part. It's the people that are acting like they're God themselves and spewing out all this stuff, you know. And it's like, you can't let humans or man turn your back away from God. I'm saying like whatever you choose, whatever you believe, whether it's God or your atheist, whatever, but like you can't have somebody, some fellow person make you turn your back on religion because, or, or on God or whatever you believe in because... If you have a personal relationship with that with that with that higher being, that's all that matters. And I understand it's hard. It's so many times I question God and things, especially when you see all the horrible violence in the world and you're like, you're like, God, how could you allow that? But I guess it's just something that's beyond our comprehension of why these things happen, you know? But 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 I, maybe that's the hard part, the trial of like even through those hard times and all the mess, still having some kind of belief and faith. So it's like, just because people at church were telling this, were telling him, you're going to go to hell, but you know, because of who you are, that doesn't mean that God feels that way. We don't know. None of us truly know. We can have all these doubts and things going on, but 
we're not going to know until it happens. So either way, what I'm saying is like whether you believe in this or that, I still think you can still respect people for what they believe in without being rude and nasty. So if you don't believe in God or Buddha, whatever the case is, that's fine. You ain't got to believe in it, but you don't have to disrespect it either. That's all. For me, for which one? Which one of them going home? Because they showing they showing a lot of them. <laughs> but it is true though. It's like you already have to deal with the outside world bashing you and causing harm to you. And you would like to think that you can be home amongst family and feel appreciated and respected and wanted. And it doesn't work that way sometimes. You got to get hate from the outside world and the and your home. <laughs> Life is a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Category is Mattel. I keep saying it for, for a second. I, I always think right away that's Simone. <laughs> it's like, it, it'd be a quick, I'm like, oh, wait, no, never mind. That is Lux. But <laughs> for a split second, I always think that. Okay. Random hanger bang. Let me make sure I get the names right. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to have these two. If y'all had to do a hang or bang, you know, you're going down to the Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore, right off the street from Tina Thompson's house, Jersey Shore, I see me, and you had to sleep or be friends with one or the other, DJ Polly D or Vinny. Which one are you banging and which one are you hanging with? Personally, y'all going to get mad at me. I don't find them that hot. I know y'all are crazy over them. I know y'all love them, man. I know y'all do. Um. Okay. If I had to choose, okay. I feel like Polly D looks like he will be like really like a man in bed and really aggressive. I feel like Vinny is a little more like, do you need a blanket? But a part of, I think, <clears throat> it's it's kind of hard because I almost want to hang with Vinny, but I also wouldn't mind banging. Just, I, okay, I'm going to let Vinny, me and, me and Polly D are going to bang. I think because he just looks like he's like, more like, I don't know, funky in the bed. And I'm a hang with Vinny because I think we can have fun. You know, so yeah. Let me know what y'all think. It's coming to a city near you comedy performance. <laughs> I hate the green screen effect. <laughs> okay, Shangela. Girl, she, yeah, she, girl. Mama, mama stays book blessed and working, girl. I don't know. Uh, we all say last time we were like, maybe RuPaul was paying homage to like the classic look because of the classic seasons. To me, this is like, it's nice, but I'm bored. I felt like at one point she was like trying, maybe she still will try different things, but I'm bored. She looks nice. Like it's like, it's like black Marilyn Monroe, you know, but it is cool to see her like, cause she, she was, you know, long, you know, those videos, those videos of her, of her back in the day just randomly like on MTV at a mall shopping and people taking pictures of her and now her back on MTV as this like mogul doing her thing. So it's good to see that, but the look is, it's okay. It's okay. I'll rent it. Me on all stars with no padding, no makeup, but somehow still making it. It's time for beauty and looks with Nina Bonina Brown. <laughs> One of y'all stank. Ugh. And that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. I know I'm going to heaven. <laughs> it's full of bones. Huh? I don't get it. <laughs> Silver plate, Charlie's Theron. So I guess Anitra is saying that she would wear this to heaven. This is what is in heaven. I am going to buy this, but I don't really get heaven. I do like her look here. I, her and Detox really have a similar thing to me. It may be just the face, but, but it's like, I'm living for this like 80s, like, I don't know, like Barbarella, I don't know, something kind of moment. I want to buy this. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, the category is metal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought I said heaven. Sorry, y'all. Heaven. I mean, metal. <laughs> I'm going to buy it. Phoenix, Miss Universe, throwing out like a bird of prey. Oh, they got Sasha's. They gave Sasha an old, uh, old good outfit. But are we going to see her body a lot, though? That's the question. But I'm going to buy this. Ow. You know what she speaks? What? Sign language? No. <laughs> I mean, like, come on now. Come on. <laughs> it's just like, why? I wanted to give metal that looks like a... So far, Simone's the only one to do a different color so far. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy it. It's nice. Wait, I said Simone? <laughs> I mean Lux. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Thank God you girls were here to catch me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lux. I mean, that, that, that was no shade. I accidentally really said that for real. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Well, it looks like she listened to the makeup comment. Okay. I mean, this is okay, but I want more. Maybe, maybe the leggings could have been metallic themselves. Maybe not that color. Yeah, like the tight, yeah, the tights mess it up. And it legit kind of looks like a Halloween costume. Of course, there's nothing against that because y'all know I do that, but I still have to say it. I'm a pass on this one. Oh, to one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite And secretly, I don't like the nose contour. I'm looking like this beautiful gold. One thing I'm gonna give Amethyst is that I do think she changes her face differently. Like, I feel like this makeup is different from the last time. And I appreciate that. I do. I feel like she looks different here. Like, she knows how to, like do a different kind of face and I appreciate that. It's not like same makeup, same face. It's like, okay, I'm gonna be a little more softer here this time. Be a little I'll change this the next time. I'm like, okay. So you know, I'm gonna <clears throat> it could use a chest, honestly. I'ma rent this. I'm gonna rent this. This <laughs> look. So far Poppy has not been bringing it to for me. And all her stuff kinda looks the same. Like even though this is not a two two per se, but then it kinda is a little bit. You know, it's like, I mean, and here's the thing. It, I think the issue is now we have been so damaged by seeing so many girls now with all these extra extravagant things that are so extra that it's like now we expect to see that. So now when we see more so simple, basic things, we're like, oh, that's so basic. When back in the day, we wouldn't have cared. It would have been like, oh, that's cute, you know, for what it is. Like, it's cute. But now it's like, now I want to see somebody coming out with a whole subway tied to their behind, you know, like. And then once again, no padding. But um, I'm still gonna rent it though. Like it's basic, but I'm just, but I'm still gonna rent it. Give me your full Judy Jetson hook. I'm gonna stop liking their stuff because you know why? These little, these little tramples. They have so many people looking out for them that I know they can get a costume anytime they want. So I can't even be like, work, sisters, because y'all are so lucky. Y'all are so lucky. I know the whole world is willing to give you anything you need, horse. <sighs> With all that being said, I buy it. Titties, baby. <laughs> My I've seen this before. Not this color, but I've seen this like look before. And some, I, I guess somebody was right that they are using the same designers for real, because I've literally seen this before. And I'm not really excited about it. Like, it's not like, but I feel like being that I said I rented Poppy. So being that I rented Poppy's, I guess I have to rent this too because it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> but I'm not going to rent it for long though. The inspiration behind my look is a intergalactic. Lucy Dookie. I'm going to buy this. I'm kind of mad I could see the red panty. And why is it red? Seriously. But <laughs> I'm still going to buy this. I am paying homage to my namesake. No. <laughs> I mean, I, the concept is cool. The concept is the idea of it. Mortal Kombat, metal, metallic arms is cool. 
But this seems like something that she probably should have done on All Stars. Once she had the money, the connections, and she could find somebody who could build her some arms like that and an outfit to go with it too. It could be sickening. But this just... No. But I'm glad you are a gamer. But I have to pass on this. Robin Fierce. It's like I am the melanated warrior. Okay, Robin. This is cute. I'm going to rent this. I don't know why I'm getting her when she walked in with that black afro, the braids, and that brown kind of outfit. But I'm going to rent this. Isabel Brooks. I love to mix streetwear. I'll pay for the chain. This is just cute to me. It's not bad. I'm not excited. Maybe something else could have went on with the bottom, too. Maybe some, maybe some of that material that's on the top shoulder part. I'm going to just rent it. It's a pop star, rat star on the move. I think I liked Spice's look more. And I feel like this look was inspired by, um, what's her name, Teen Robot on Nickelodeon? Like the way the legs look and stuff, look like that Teen Robot that was on Nickelodeon. I liked Spice's better. This is just, it's okay. I, maybe it's just the pants part that I don't care for that much. I'm going to put it on layaway. I'm, I'm going to put it on layaway. I'm going to put it on layaway. Malaysia, baby dog. Okay, Malaysia, are we going to see you in a lot of gowns? That's the question. And if we do, that's your drag aesthetic. Fight me. Can't be mad about it. But are we going to see you in a lot of gowns, though? Oh. She's loving the Sailor Moon hairstyle with, with, with the horns. This could have been more. This could have been maybe if the chains would have came down longer, more chains coming down. Because it almost seems like an afterthought. Like, or they ran out of chains and was like, okay, well, we don't have any more, but... Yeah, I feel like, now, had this have been a gown that was just chains, now that would have been sickening. I'm going to just put this on layaway because she doesn't look bad, but I'm going to put it on layaway. They say God is a woman, and I am. <laughs> Damn, RuPaul already laughing. She's saying, I'm still on the deal. She's funny. <laughs> Girl, all Sasha said was, they. <laughs> like, damn, can I get it out first? <laughs> <laughs> Not died on logo. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Dang, she's shaking her head a lot. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that is kind of funny, though. Just the stupid transition like that. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I think the reason why I find it so funny because that's something I would do. Just something stupid like that for no reason at all. <laughs> Just, it's like, it makes sense to me. I do think they're over laughing at um, maybe some parts. Like, are y'all trying to make make it clear that, that, they, that they won? <laughs> but Sasha also didn't do bad as RuPaul and them were claiming at first. But chilling, they were like, it wasn't bad. I don't get it. I'm mad for a second. I thought a lady bunny. Heck, girl. Okay. Girl, this background is literally rainbow high. I'm not even kidding. Girl, what what in the what in the hint hint wink wink rainbow high? Uh, it's me, Dolly Parton. <laughs> Not, a lot, not RuPaul finally laughed because she's like, Dolly Parton or Cher? I'm in heaven now. I think you tried to death drop. I'm mad. I thought it was, it was the two groups. I'm like, dang, it's more. <laughs> I'm liking Mistress with his black hair, though. Ow. Here we have bottomless I hate the rap over white robe just over a black H&M shirt. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't, I can't tell if the people are doing bad or if whatever was written was horribly written. Because it's like, I don't know if they're doing bad. I just feel like, what is the point of both of these la these last, like, p stories? Like, what is, what's the skit? What's the, I don't know. What, <laughs> what is happening? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not her saying all the things that the fans say about them. <laughs> Give us a call. Okay. Mistress Isabel Brooks. 
Mitch is like, oh yeah, I'm safe. Oh God, I'm over it. I don't want to be safe. But the way you contour it is too dark. Okay. You don't need to make it thin. It's like you're trying to hide it. Picking back, but I wonder if Amethyst didn't contour her nose, then would the judges have said, you should contour your nose. You just never know with them. The way that you don't pad and don't cinch your look. That Michelle go again. Uh oh. Okay, she's being consistent so far. People on Twitch saying, uh oh, Jack's in trouble. But hey, we get to see Jack's lip sync, I guess, so that's good. Congratulations. You are the winner of this week's challenge. Oh, Lord. God, I see the comments now. I told you she was a legend. Bow down, honey. <laughs> Was she the best? Was she the best, or was the group just not that good? And I'm I, like, I'm like, 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 sh like, she did make me laugh with the next thing. Like she did, and she wasn't bad. I'm sorry, and y'all heard me say she wasn't bad, but I'm like, but was she the best out of like? Well, definitely her runway was good. So, congrats, girl. You are safe. See, if I don't even remember who was bad, it's it's too many girls. It's too much going on. Like I knew that, I knew that Amethyst would be there. Poor girl in the bottom again. I don't even remember between Poppy and Jack, but they they made it seem like Jack did worse. So how was? I don't know. I'm I'm. I don't know. <laughs> no, they didn't. But no, they didn't make it the fucking bath. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, they did not make it the F and bathhouse version. <sighs> I don't know which WoW producers secretly watch my drag, watch my raw views, and y'all know it pisses me off. Can we get one of these songs that are not a bathhouse mix? I, I am asking for a friend, and the friend name is Pierre Dees. Can I just, can like, I was ready to literally sit down and be like, yes. But why are two white girls doing this song? But yes. Maybe they feel that song, the regular song, would be too boring on Drag Race. Or either they couldn't afford it. I don't know. But they're on MTV though, so. Oh. <laughs> Poppy said, I'm stealing your light. Get over it. Bitch, Diana Ross. See, and Amethyst literally has on what Diana Ross would wear. That big old roughly cover up. So she's already, and she's already feeling it. I'm already feeling it. She has the afro. She has. <laughs> Amethyst, you slick devil, you. See, neither one of them are bringing this part, though. But also, it's this beat. I don't hate the beat. Like, like, this part, you gotta stand in one spot and really just look like you're about to cry. If you need me, just call me. No matter where you are, no matter how far. You, got, you, gotta, you gotta just... Oh. Oh. Up. Neither, no shade. At first, when Amethyst was doing that walk, I was getting soul. I was like, "Oh, she definitely did date a black man. She did." But now it's getting two funky white girls doing their thing. <laughs> just two funky white girls. Look at them. They're so hip. They're so hype. I'm just like, but also this, whoever made this mix, you're not going to heaven. <laughs> Normally, I would take the comedic route and be silly and goofy, but it's Diana Ross. Okay, but you, now Amethyst, but you wouldn't take the serious route with being around the world and I, yeah, yeah, I can't find my baby. Uh huh. But I'm glad you stopped yourself and you you, you say you know what I'm not about to be goofy. I could be goofy, but I'm gonna give a lip sync. See, this is why Amethyst needs to stay. Dang, Poppy Horny. She said, "Look at me, grinder." <laughs> Like, why are you doing all that? Like, this is Diana Ross. Like, for real, for real. Like, why are you doing all that? Like, why why do I need to see your crotch? What are you, what, what? Yeah, send her home. <laughs> Shantae, you stay. Why are you shocked? Girl, you did better. <laughs> Congratulations, stay at the bottom, girl. <laughs> Not just burping, okay. Okay, okay, oh, oh clear.
Okay, I actually wasn't bored with this episode. I wasn't. I don't. I, how am I not bored? I don't know. And I, I kind of feel like the episode went pretty fast. I really do. I feel like it was not a long, dragging episode. So that's good. Like compared to the first premiere, this was like okay, in and out, boom. I mean, as I always say, Poppy, congratulations for getting on the show. Seriously. You know, I just didn't get to see much of you to know what you were about, you know, but you got on and that's all that matters, honestly. So, yeah, y'all let me know down below in the comment section, as always, what y'all feel and all those things and keep it cute. And those of y'all that will be here next week, I'll see y'all. Those of y'all that were blocked, um, I mean, wherever you are, I wish you the best. Um... <laughs> Stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi, and I'll see y'all in New York in a couple of weeks. Ow. Hi guys, my tits are so swollen from the snow.